Hi everyone, this is Ryan from rpnt.ca and today we're going to be talking about the drug heparin, also known as unfractionated heparin. Heparin belongs to the anticoagulant drug classification. Anticoagulants are drugs that inhibit clotting factors. Clotting factors make up one of two important steps that cause our blood to clot, the other being platelet aggregation. Now there's a lot of physiology going on when heparin is administered, but I'll try to simplify things in this video. So there are both normal and abnormal types of blood clots that occur in the body. Normally when we have injury to our blood vessels, say we get cut and start bleeding, we want our blood to clot so that the bleeding stops. Abnormal clotting is the clotting that heparin wants to prevent, which is excessive clotting in the blood vessels that can block blood flow and eventually lead to things like strokes or heart attacks. Abnormal clotting can be caused by many different things, such as hypertension, blood disorders, diabetes, and more. So let's get into how heparin works. Heparin inhibits certain coagulation factors in the blood. Coagulation factors are proteins that control how much our blood clots. Specifically, heparin enhances something called antithrombin-3, which inhibits the coagulation factors 2A and 10A. By inhibiting these coagulation factors, Antithrombin-3 helps to prevent clotting by working against thrombin. And thrombin is a clotting enzyme that eventually leads to the production of fibrin, which is essential to clotting. Fibrin forms long threads that help to trap platelets and blood cells and form blood clots in a mesh-like structure. So all in all, heparin prevents the production of fibrin, which helps to prevent clots from forming or from getting bigger if they already exist. Heparin is used for the prevention and treatment of various abnormal blood clots and is usually used in a more acute setting when compared to other anticoagulants like anoxaparin and warfarin. Uses include postoperative prevention of deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolisms. Heparin is also used for the prevention of clotting during cardiac or arterial surgeries. It is used during hemodialysis to prevent blood clotting and has many more anticoagulant uses. Heparin reduces both normal and abnormal blood clotting. This means that it may take longer for regular cuts or injuries to heal. Heparin increases the risk for internal and external bleeding and bruising. Heparin is contraindicated in clients who have uncontrolled active bleeding or clients who have thrombocytopenia, also known as low platelet count, due to the increased risk for hemorrhage. Other side effects include decreased renal function, and osteoporosis with long-term therapy. These are just some of the many important side effects of heparin. Always assess and monitor for side effects of heparin, mainly bleeding. Instruct clients to use electric razors when shaving, rather than manual, to reduce the risk of bleeding. Soft bristle toothbrushes can also be used to reduce gum bleeding. It is important to note that heparin does not get rid of pre-existing clots. Thrombolytics, also known as clot busters, are required to lyse or break up pre-existing clots. Heparin is rated pregnancy category C, and there is some conflicting information regarding heparin safety during pregnancy, so exercise caution here. The antidote for heparin is protamine sulfate, which works by binding to heparin, and the result no longer has anticoagulant effects. And that's about it for heparin. In the video description, I've also placed a link of this overview of coagulation modifiers that might help with other drugs that affect blood clotting. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments or visit rpnt.ca for more help.